Good morning, boys and girls. I am here to review your reading lesson for today or to go over your reading lesson for today. Remember, the skill that we are going to work on today is retelling stories and determine the central message, lesson, or moral. And remember, we have been reading this story, The Monkey and the Peas, and today we are going to answer some questions that will help us to determine the lesson or moral of the story. But before we get started with that review, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did yesterday with the tortoise and the hare. If you will remember, when we read the story yesterday, we determined after reading the entire selection what the moral or lesson of the story was based on the um, overall um, content, the text. And we determined that the central message or moral was slow and steady wins the race. Because if you'll remember, we talked about how the tortoise was slow and the hare was fast, but that didn't determine who the winner was going to be because we know that the tortoise won the race. And we determined that the message was slow and steady wins the race because the tortoise did not give up even though he was way slower than the hare, and he finished the race before the hare because he did not give up. Even though he was slower, he did not give up. And so that's how we determined what the message of the story was or the lesson. So today I'm going to read to you again The Monkey and the Peas, and we're going to kind of go over what the lesson is based on the questions that you're going to answer today on page 132. So I'm going to read the story to you again, and <clears throat> then we'll talk about the questions. Once upon a time, there was a king who loved to travel, but he didn't like to visit places in his own country. He thought that more beautiful sights could be seen in other lands. So boys and girls, when we read that right there, that kind of tells us that the king is not happy with what he had. He wanted to see something else. He wanted to see other things that he thought would be more beautiful. So that kind of gives us a clue right there about how the, the king is, what kind of person he is. He's not quite satisfied with what he has. So one day, he, the king and his army were riding their horses through another strange new land. When they became tired, they set up a camp to rest. The horses were hungry, so the soldiers fed them peas. A monkey who lived in the forest was watching the king's men from a high tree. He saw the horses eating peas, so he jumped down from the tree to get some of the peas for his dinner. He quickly filled his mouth and hands with peas. Then he climbed back up the tree. He sat down to eat the peas. As he ate the peas, one fell from his hand to the ground. The monkey dropped all the peas he had in his hands. He ran down to look for the lost pea. So let's stop right there. So he dropped one pea, the monkey did, but he still had all of these other peas. So instead of leaving that one pea and eating the rest of what he had, he dropped all of the other ones in order to go find that one piece. So that kind of tells us he's a lot like the king. He wasn't satisfied with what he had, so he was going to go search for that one pea. So the monkey could not find the one lost pea. The other peas the monkey had dropped rolled away. He climbed up the tree again and lay on its trunk, looking sad. The monkey was very disappointed. So he lost all of the other peas because he wanted to search for that one pea. He was kind of greedy. He wasn't happy. He wasn't satisfied. The king was watching the monkey from the camp. He said to himself, to get one pea, the monkey threw away the rest. I would not like, I would not be like this foolish monkey. He lost everything while trying to gain or get so little. I will go back to my country. I will enjoy what I already have. So the king and his army rode back to their country. The king found many beautiful sights in his own land. 
Okay, so boys and girls, we can see that the king and the monkey had something in common, but it looked like the king ended up learning a lesson from the monkey. Okay, so let's go over your um, paper that you're going to do today, which is going to be telling about the central message of this story. So it says, plan your response. That's the question number six. Answer the questions in the chart to tell about the most important events in the story. So once you tell about the most important events, boys and girls, that's going to help you determine what the lesson or moral is of the story. Because once you pull out all of those important facts, it's going to be easier for you to see what that is. So your first question is, why does the monkey climb down the tree the first time? So you'll go back and look in the text and find out why the monkey climbed down the tree the first time. Okay. The second time, excuse me, the second question is, why does the monkey climb down from the tree the second time? Okay. So you'll go back and look in the text to find your answer for that question. Put it in the box right beside of the, uh, that question. Put your answer there. Number three, the third box, what does the king think about the monkey? Okay, so you're going to look back in the text and find out where it says what the king thinks about what the monkey does. Okay, and then the fourth question, why does the king go back to his own country? Okay, so that's going to be towards the end of the story and you need to write down in that box, why the king goes back to his own country. And remember, the king and the monkey do have some things in common. Remember, neither one was satisfied with what they had. And so they were giving up. Both of them kind of gave up what they had in order to try to gain or get something else. But that didn't really work so well for both of them. So. After you answer the questions, go back and look at, or go down to number seven and look at the short response, which is the king learns an important lesson from watching the monkey. What is the lesson or central message of the story? So use the information from the chart above in your answer. So boys and girls, remember that the chart is going to help you remember the things that I've already discussed with you, and that should help you to determine what the lesson is that the king learned from the monkey in the story. Okay, if you have any questions, contact your teacher. Have a great day. Have a great spring break. We all miss you and can't wait to see you soon.